Okay. Uh, hello, anyone here you're watching now or later? Helene here along with. Akir! And why is it not catching the. Oh, it's because on this scene the game catcher was turned off. Okay. <laughs> of course. Oh. We can't have at least. We have to have at least one thing go wrong, huh? Anyways, yeah. welcome to Darksiders 2 Destinative Edition. And. It, okay, it's not responding to the controller it, okay so it's for, it's forcing it into yeah, it's forced into keyboard mode at the moment i th we should be able to just help change that in the uh, in the options and yes auto save let's swap this to easy because i think i had spoken of this before but i th i'm pretty sure i played this game on norm i i played this game on normal but i am Pretty sure, or not this, but yeah. let me just get my thoughts in line. I played the original version of this game before, and I think I did that on its hard mode or its normal mode. And yeah, like Dark Souls One proved, in well, <laughs> when we streamed that, even on easy, it can be still pretty freaking tough. So yeah, let's swap it on that since well, we we mostly stream for the story. Yep. And that's only so much we can ha handle before seeing it, you fail against boring. And the gamma slider actually isn't doing anything, it seems. Like, I'm sliding it from the top to the front back, and I'm not seeing a single change. Okay, nice work. That would be no life without order. Good, evil. Darkness, light, there must be balance in the universe. Such is the decree of the Charred Council, an ancient body charged by the Creator to preserve the very fabric of existence. But the balance has been broken. Even now, Earth smolders in ruin, fallen to the demon lords, and the Destroyer carves a new kingdom amongst his mighty chosen. Some say the Horseman War triggered the apocalypse, that he rode to Earth unbidden and doomed all of mankind. But what of the other Horsemen, fearless enforcers of the Council's will? What of fury, strife, and death? To know those names, you must first know another. Nephilim, cursed union of angel and demon. The Nephilim, countless realms of the sword burned them to ash, but four amongst them grew weary of the slaughter and feared their conquest would imperil the balance. And so a truce was made. The four would serve the council in exchange for unimaginable power. Thus were the dreaded horsemen formed, and the riders' first task was to purge their own brethren from creation, to annihilate the Nephilim and destroy their souls. Let us now cast our gaze to one amongst the four. Not war, who lies chained at the Council's feet, professing his innocence, but one who would save his brother above all else. He has many names. Kinslayer, Executioner,
And there we go. Okay. Uh, some people may have noticed that I'm using something else for sound this time. This is actually a bone conducting pair of earphones, I think is the correct term. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm basically giving it a bit of a trial by fire. Let's see. See, summon or banish despair, <laughs> which is our horse. Okay, I missed something else there before, but yeah, the, I'm basically giving these things a trial by fire. If they work well on this stream, they stay. They do not alter charts. Okay. And yeah, I'll, I'll have to get the controller to work later if it will even. If it, if I need to restart the game to connect it, I'll just uh, play this first time with <coughs> with the mouse and key. Shift for locking on. And yeah, Death is a bit more agile than War because he has a lot less armor weighing him down. Yes, and he's like me, not bored by the cold. <laughs> yeah, he can let it go because the, the cold never bothered me any, him anyway. And yet, yeah, there is one big change from the previous game. We have. A we have an even well, we have a more expanded inventory system. And okay. Let's see. Okay, this is taking a lot out of my CPU, but I'm only seeing minor stutters. Oh, okay. We're going to need to drop the graphics a bit, I think, because we are losing quite a bit of frames. Four percent at the moment. Let's see. Uh, ambient occlusion, I think we can lower that. Anti-aliasing. Okay. Let's see. If it will load now. Um, game. Okay, that's not, that's not a great sign. Because nothing is responding at the moment. Tell me we're about to have a repeat of our first attempt of playing uh, the other game. Okay, take task manager. And task. Yeah, that's just uh, a great start, isn't it? Yeah, at least we noticed it way much earlier on. Yeah. Okay, move the screen up so I don't have to look at just a big fat bar at the top of the screen. Okay. Share to, to here and over here. There we go. Okay, come on. So let's skip across this. Okay. At least it saved what little we had there. And hopefully this, hopefully this doesn't give too many difficulties. And yeah, from the menu we go straight into the game, which I find a nice little touch. Very nice. Uh, yeah, death. Death. Well, death could block, but he doesn't because, yeah, apparently he thinks nobody should be able to hit him, so he should not have to block. So, I'm pretty sure that's actually says the end of the manual or something. <laughs> I know this up here. The enemies have varied weapons. They're not, yeah, the enemies don't seem to be carbon copy. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we also have our inventory here. We have some sights, but we could also let's see some gloves, some greaves. Might as well put them on, and they do have a visual effect, which is always nice. Okay. PS seems to be dancing a bit between 60 and 50. Okay. It could be. Games never re 
recording equipment never really likes uh, snow, I think. So... I did not know that. Snow, uh, snow effects can, uh, can, emphasis on can, but be pretty intensive at times. So. <gasps> Move towards a wall at an angle, press A to jump. There we, okay, there we go. <laughs> like freaking Prince of Persia. Okay. I'll have, I'll need to keep an eye on the FPS because if it dips uh, below 40, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll have to change things, and I've jumped too early there. So this game shouldn't be that intensive. And I say that, and I look to Task Manager, and it's taking up... Okay, if it's taking up only 25 to 40% of the CPU, what it is taking up the rest of it? Discord is at 20 because of the stream, or screen share, then 10 by OBS itself. Okay. Odd. Uh, I might need to look into some ways to yeah, optimize this game a bit more. That's... Death can traverse wooden beams in the environment. Jump. Okay. This is ba pretty basic in a lot of adventure games. Just yeah, being able to climb pillars like this. Okay, now it stops stuttering. Never mind. What was that? And so there's a chest down there. I'm not sure if we could reach that without falling to our death somehow. Hello. Hello, okay, Ron. Uh, yeah, this is Dark Shadows 2. Or rather, the de definitive edition of it. That is a shitty pun. Uh, the, well, with the first one, it was the War Master edition. So, yeah, shitty yeah, puns are kind of their thing. Yeah, I said earlier, Death is a lot more agile because he doesn't have that much heavy armor on him. So we'll have a lot more traversal options with him. Okay. Um, is this something like that being wrong? What? Is the um, screen is this starting? Is you? Uh, the screen's working. Let's so try. Why? For me, it's stopped ring like mad. Ah, uh, yeah, it occasionally does that. Next. Honestly, I just came by to say hi, I'm about to have lunch and stuff. Okay. I don't want to interrupt you. See you later then. Yep. Yeah. See have you guys some other time. <laughs> and yeah, as you can see, we can equip different types oh. of weapons. So this, these are secondaries. We, I don't think we've gotten prompts on secondary effect uh, weapons yet. Because, well, it's very obvious what that <gasps> primary weapons are. <laughs> Bad joke, but yeah, sight. Anyway, see you guys later. Have fun. See ya. Okay. Things seem to be running a lot better. I'm going to keep an eye on. Yeah, I'm keeping an eye what? on the lost frames count, which seems to be stuck at around 3400 at the moment. But is it horrible on my end? Uh, that could be your internet, which you complain plenty about, about how bad that is. There's no big time. There's no yellow dot in corner. And it's my internet, and it me in the corner with a yellow dot. And then it's still yellow dot. Okay, directional dodging, target lock. Let's uh, just let's just keep <laughs> nibbling at this guy's angles. Okay, and now we can go up here. Okay, that's our secondary weapon. 
Use the Y button, similar to how War had it. It missed me. And there we finally get hit. Just like War, Death has a, a super form that he can pull out every now and then. Okay. Can extend War ones by vaulting over shorts. Okay. Yeah, I, Death basically is the undead Prince of Persia. And yeah. There we go. I'm not sure if he would count as dead. Like he is named Death, and he is the writer of Death, but he is—he isn't actually dead himself. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so much for taking the elevator ride up. Let me get something else. It's no other woman. It's shaking thing. Like, the character is vibrating for me. <gasps> okay. We, we had that before. It, there he was vibrating, but it was because the entire freaking tower was. Because a part fell away. <gasps> okay. Let's just continue on. And now it's <gasps> Never mind, I need to stay. Oh. Up. And that. Yeah, we'll be having a lot of uh, platforming in this game. I'm having like a rare. Oops, let me put it back. I'm having a rare moment where the sounds on the earphones is cutting out, but it's been very rare and for like half a second. So a lot better than uh, the previous uh, test we did with ear new earphones. And with those, it was freaking constant. The, the only big drawback that I could say about these is that I. If I lean my head back against the chair, then the, this can push it, you know, can push them forwards over my ears a bit more. But I'll find a way to get that working like this, just having them down at an angle like this. Okay, not completely, but still. I'll figure something out with that. They, they are far from uncomfortable. Uncomfortable for. Com comfortable. I, I just can't speak that word today, apparently. They sit well. They're proper uncomfy people. Traverse uh, wooden beams. Just like that. What's more, he's just a freaking... He, he is just basically the Prince of Persia, only... Yeah. A horseman. Okay, where to from here? There. Probably a pile of death metal. Okay. There. It is nice to be a, a lot more agile than war was. It it does different differentiate the two, the two and the hello there. Not yet. I know why you've come. 
Your brother, the one called War. He's been imprisoned by the Chard Council and awaits the judgment for dooming the Earth, for mankind's extinction. Why should I care about your brother's fate? Because you know the truth. Your secrets can save him. <laughs> the Council will condemn War. Strip him of power, let him rot in oblivion. To hide the truth. My secrets cannot prove his innocence, horsemen. No, but they can help me to erase the crime. Bring mankind back from extinction. Madness. If it's madness, who better to show me the way? Should a way exist, you will find it here. The Tree of Life. Let me pass. Not yet. That which you gave me, you will take it back. In exchange for its secrets, you agreed to keep the amulet. No. The voices, they curse and threaten without end. They cry to return. You must destroy it. I cannot. You annihilated their flesh. Why do you guard their souls? Open the portal. You will not pass while I live. So be it. Here your brethren are trapped in eternal torment. Do you wish to join them? And what of war? Would you kill your brother to save your precious balance? He is innocent. Are you so certain? Okay. Uh, yeah, this is very obviously oh, ow, a fake of war. But he does seem to have the same moves, except that one is a lot more aimed. And now they have been stuttering back! What is going on at that moment? Stop in the corner again! I mean, the money can be called the money? Maybe. Or, 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 or at least the TPA will surround it on this form. Phase one done. <laughs> How hard did we launch him for him to take that bit to come back down? <laughs> nice try. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he, he's using the the same uh, most well, mostly the same maneuvers of when you're taking your time to slide to attack, not just button mashing. die with you, old fool. My secrets, but not yours.
uncountable worlds of our universe swirl in an endless abyss. Many worlds ravaged by time or conflict are swallowed by the abyss, returned to the nothingness from which they were formed. But others linger for eternity on the brink of annihilation. That creation might be balanced with destruction. And in the final moment of battle, death was banished to one such world in the autumn of its life, yet not far from the edge of darkness. Had death been sent to his doom, that answer would be found in the horseman's future and in his past. Be still, horseman. You are wounded. Don't touch me. Your arrival here is a bad omen. Yes, it troubles me greatly. Old one, there's more trouble ahead if you don't start making sense. Where is the tree of life? Life? <laughs> this world is dying, lad. Choking on chaos and corruption. We can do little to stop it. Soon, the great tree too shall perish, and with it, the last of my people. Is that not what brought you here, Pale Rider? I seek the tree. Your chaos and corruption don't concern me. Okay, that's a welcome. It seems yeah, this is what... Okay, there's no suffering in the cult scene. But the, the most of the combat is Dr. Light L in vibrating manner. Okay. Uh, it's it doing well on yeah. the stream, and it hasn't lost many more uh, frames since the last I checked. And only a pitiful amount. Oh yeah, seeing as there are 30 frames per second, then yes, an extra 30 you know, frames you know, lost over like 5 minutes is like less than a second. So there might be something with this You fight well, but this corruption can't be beaten with a blade. Seek out the Forge Sister. Ask her about the fire of the mountain. Help her, and she will help you reach the tree. As for me, I must return to my work. And another change from the first game is... Not this, uh, actually, not much of a change, but the conversation system is a bit changed. And who are you to command a rider? I am a maker, older than even the Chard Council. These hands have laid the foundations for many worlds. But that was long ago, and now they but hardly know the touch of stone. Are you not curious as to why I seek the tree? I would not presume to question one of the four, but yes, tell me. I must restore humanity to redeem war. Heaven and hell battle upon the shattered earth. All creation trembles, and at the center of it all stands your brother. He is innocent. I never said he wasn't. The tree holds power over life and death. If you would resurrect humanity, then you are headed in the right direction. Be warned. A dark presence dwells now within the tree, and the path is barred by corruption. <laughs> right, gonna try something here. Uh, let's see. Be right back. Not dead. Okay, skill points. Paint skill point by leveling up. And you have leveled up. Each level grants a skill point, which is used to purchase new, you know, new abilities. Press the character menu and you spend your point. Yeah, we also have a skill tree now. Or actually, we have two. Let's see. Teleport slash or exhume. Death summons bloodthirsty ghouls from beyond the grave to fight alongside him. Costs 300 wrath. Three, three damage per attack and two are summoned. <coughs> uh, 
death teleports across the dead of and delivers a violent side attack that deals damage and restores that dead cell. That is probably going to be a lot yeah, more useful in the short run, since, well, it allows us to heal. Okay, we have a Reaper Gauge here. All enemies struck by teleport slash have a chance to be slowed by frost. Slows by 20% for 2 seconds, 25% chance to trigger. Or... Oh, no, oh, that is for that. That's for that power. I, I thought I was moving towards the Reaper Gauge, but I'm guessing... Uh, yeah, not yet with on that. Okay. I'm not sure what the Reaper Gauge does, but probably it's uh, just passive bonuses depending on how many skills or levels you've gained so far. Hmm. Okay. But also I'm back. Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> and he doesn't help at all. Okay, so I can just bring up this menu by pressing down. Can I? Oh, yes, I can assign it to a button. Let's assign it to X. Okay. Hey, I'm back. Yep, welcome oh, back. Welcome back. So, what with the dual blades? Yeah, uh, basically that's death sight uh, split into two, and he can he can just reform them on the spot like that. Don't ask me where the second blade goes. Okay. We have. Okay. Yeah, death isn't as strong as war, so he he can't he can't tear those open by himself. He has to summon a part of his chaos form. <laughs> and yeah, the gate kind of throws you into it right away with this, huh? Similar to how yeah. they did it with Dark Siders One, but. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure if pausing the action to show uh, to show tutorials is a good thing or or that uh, talking about it in text at the bottom of the screen is better because yeah with the first it's quite disruptive but with the second you can easily overlook stuff like there it said something but I missed it did speak of the this button I think okay we have a map here. Primary quest, sec secondary quests are also now a thing because this, this, uh, <clears throat> Dark Souls 2 goes a lot more towards. Don't tell me it crashed again. <laughs> it crashed again. Okay, I'll definitely have to figure find a way to fix that. Luckily enough, the game seems to uh, save often enough. You probably need a. Uh... Technical difficulties screen for whenever some a crash happens. Might be a good idea. And also the crash might be maybe related to whatever is causing this stutter to me. Maybe. I'm not seeing anything that should be causing internet issues here. Uh my drive has plenty of inform has plenty of room on it, and my computer should be easy should be able to run this all easily. So I'm not sure what is causing this. Maybe because the game is running in windowed mode or something. Like some games can be really freaky when can start re acting really freaky with certain things. Maybe I, some some games really hate it if you turn off VSync. I think we had that one time that turning on VSync seemed to completely fix whatever was going on. This is the tale thus yeah. far. In the beginning. Death sought the crow father. <laughs> but what he found. Honestly, I'm not gonna. More. Actually, I just a came by to say pie again. I don't think I'm gonna a stay. Path to another world. Alright. You guys have fun, and uh, technical difficulties music, music goes here, so good luck. See ya. Thank you. And be safe, uh, Rom. Yeah, I'll try. Later. If you hear See ya. Later. Hope is not dead. And yeah, as you can see, the game the game changes its uh, quote-unquote main menu every time based on where you are and such, and it gives a little recap of what happens up to that point or happened last or something. 
I'm not entirely sure how far it will go back each and every time. But now though, let's heal up. Um. Uh -huh. Hmm. Yep. Yep. Screen share. I really need to find some way to just have my entire monitors stream to you, so we I don't have to constantly reshare <laughs> re the stream. And okay, it it didn't put us back that far. Actually, before, before I completely leave, I have a question for the both of you. Okay. Which would you rather be beat up by? Green Arrow or Batman? Uh, Batman is a lot more strong, is a lot stronger. Green Arrow, his strongest point uh, is, well, his ability to have basically perfect aim. So as long as he doesn't get his bow involved, uh, yeah, Green Arrow is the much better choice. <laughs> so, and doesn't Batman have a no-killing policy? He has yeah, a no-killing but... policy, but there's nothing in the rules that doesn't say he can't break every bone in your body. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess... Like, you, oh. like you try to mug somebody in Gotham and suddenly you wake up in the ICU. Okay. Okay. I, I, really I guess Green there. Arrow? What? I guess Green Arrow! Okay. Well... Okay, why is... Okay, just going to risk this one more time. Actually... Maybe if we turn on Vertical Sync... Uh, Try turning down, down the quality of a few things. There, maybe that will help a lot, and this time we didn't get screwed. Hooray! We're still... Still 40-ish FPS, now back to 60. Is it something specific here? At this point, I'm not even sure what it is. So, good luck. See ya. Thank you, and good luck yeah. to you! Hmm. Okay, something is being screwed. If this... If something about this game just really doesn't want to be streamed, maybe it might be better if I uh, swap to the original version. And you must be the sister of the forge. Maker's beard. The rumors are true. A horseman in the forge lands. The name's Alia, and that's my brother Valis. We are the keepers of this forge. Though I reckon that means less now than once it did. This is a Maker's Forge? Nay, the Maker's Forge is lost to us, silenced by the hands of corruption. But in its depths, we once crafted the dark towers of hell and the cities of heaven. Now you make trinkets. <laughs> and you, one of the four, now seek the aid of the Makers? I guess we've all fallen from high places. I came here seeking the tree, and your elder speaks of fire. What is it? Aye, the fire of the mountain, the Stone Father's blood. It once flowed into our forge, as did the tears. Both imbued our craft with incredible power, the heart and the soul of stone. But corruption has taken them, and now our forge is silent. Why does this concern me? The way to the tree is lost, barred by corruption. You can no more leave this place than we. Restore our forge, and the tree can be reached. I don't follow your reasoning. We are makers, not warriors. But we are not without our weapons. Before the forge was lost, we crafted a mighty creature of soul and stone. A colossus to fight this corruption. But to awaken him requires a maker's key. And we need our forge to craft one. Will you help us? Okay. What is this cauldron? A temple built in the shadow of Stonefather's Peak. There, the fire of the mountain was harnessed and passed into our forge. Ride east of town, ride through the Chart Pass and towards the cindery peak of the Stonefather. There, you will find the cauldron. Okay, then I think I think the OBS broadcast is sl is getting some stuttering. It's Man of no that words. That might be what I'm <laughs> But hardly silent. His voice is the ring of the hammer and the roar of the white flame. Yes, 
He works while you talk. And the, the broadcast is what is hide, is what is giving the webcam image at the moment. And uh, yeah, we're cutting out the backgrounds. I so that this shouldn't have an effect on you because you're only getting the game. Than ours, horsemen? I think not. We fight for the survival of our realm and our kin. Prove worthy. And mayhaps we can do business. Okay. Speak the same. That must be the other guy there. Oh, it's you, horse. Okay. So, yeah, so, basically we're in... Oh, uh, go ahead. I was going to say... So... We are among giant dwarfs. Yeah, I was basically about to say the same. And we have an inbox here. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure you can get some stuff from that, uh, from DLCs or so. so I, I remember picking up some items from there in the original version of this. Okay, what is... This is probably the biggest place we've gotten yet, so that might be what is causing the FPS to drop. It, it, it has been going on for a while. Don't wait. No, not on your end, on the stream itself as well. Yeah, I have to ask now. Last time we tried, did we switch over to the old edition? Um, no, I think we pretty. I think we still used the War Master edition. Hmm. If this keeps running stuttery without any real explanation, I might need to. And who are you? We've been awaiting your arrival, Horseman. Your shadow has long hovered over this realm. Many know the Reaper, old one, but I don't know you. We are the builders of this world, but corruption seethes at its heart and destroys in days what we shaped over eons. Adar does his best to soothe our pain, but our souls yearn for only one comfort, death. We are without hope. Horseman. Do you ever doubt your future? No. So one like yourself would set out to change a fate that displeases him. That is a long and dangerous path, even for death himself. How is that your concern, Shaman? Only that I am skilled at crafting talismans. If you gather the proper materials and return them to me, I'll make a potent talisman to aid you on your journey. What do you require? Stalker's bone, mordant dew, and carve in stone. It is not a simple charm. Where can I find them? Somewhere in the Forge Lands. I rarely leave Tristone, but that pup Khan is always out exploring. He can tell you more, no doubt. You despair, old one, and yet raise life from the earth. I am a shaman, bound to this task even as our days darken. We are as the vines, coming to root, then to flower, and then to decay, dropping seeds upon the dust, a circle everlasting. I cannot stop it, nor can I stop you. Tell me, shaman, what is corruption? I only know what I fear it to be, that corruption is hate given life, and that hate does not come from trees or stones, but from ourselves. Tell me more about the Tree of Life. The forest around the tree has been corrupted. It hungers. You cannot reach the tree, not with breath still in you. The path of a brother troubles you. It is your past, but also your future. Okay. Portrait of the okay. Horseman. Hmm? That thing was... Yeah, that thing was on the war shoulder. That uh, Miri, the maker of shaman, gave you uh, this pauldron. The past of your brother, uh, of a brother, troubles you. Okay. Stone, wood, iron. These are the gifts. How the hell did she get that? There are new talismans for you to browse. And uh, yeah, as is obvious, we cannot afford any of these, but we can sell off some of our extra stuff. My thanks. It, it's easily enough. Okay, oh, so it's an equipment piece. And quite a powerful one compared to the stuff that we already have. I will offer this to the folk. Oh, uh, yeah, just sell our junk. 
I'm gonna enable auto loot by changing the auto like checkbox. I think I already did that when I tested this game to see if OBS would play nice with it. Hmm. Wrong so. this, this one. No, not. Oh, oh, it has a level requirement, so we can't use it just yet. Of course. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, so I have far, to work online for optimization methods with this game. For, yeah, it might be a good idea to do. And also, I think you can see how people feel like uh, when people roleplay with me when I'm roleplay as a norm. <laughs> okay, uh, I think one way that should typically help is to give the startup NVIDIA broad. Uh, in, not broadcast, NVIDIA control panel, then manage 3D section, uh, setting, 3D settings, program settings, and then I find uh, the dark side is among here, yes, there, and I should be able to give this, uh, not that, uh, I should be able to give it priority or something. Uh, Let's see, where is that in here? Hmm. Not seeing it at the moment, but that's... Hmm. Okay, I, I, I really have to look into some optimization of this game. Because it, it is pretty as all hell, but that isn't going to work much if the game runs at 30 FPS per second. It's, yeah. In many cases, is good is is good enough, but I prefer to run this at at the very least fifty to sixty. Yeah, and it is weird since most games usually when they look like this usually don't uh, usually not a hustle. And what the heck, the axe? The, hmm. the Reaper. It's about time you came. The Makers are dying, and our realm. We few are all that remain. A warrior's life is never easy, old one. Aye, not easy, but simple. I always saw my end with blade in hand, a field of enemy dead before me. And what glorious end awaits you hiding behind these gates? Uh, you cannot fight corruption, nor can you harm it. You can only kill those it has claimed. Every blow I strike against corruption is a blow against my own people. Muse on that, Ryder, before you mark me as a coward. Do what you must for your kin, old one. For mine, I ride to the cauldron. Horseman, you'll find not that way, but trouble. Well, if you fancy your corruption waist deep, that's as good a place as any. You know, there's a reason this gate is here. And if you were a friend, I wouldn't have let you pass. But then... Who is friend to death? Have you wisdom to share, or was it long since not loose in battle? Oh, wisdom ain't like teeth. I've plenty left. Enough to stay clear of the cauldron. The ancients filled it with right nasty traps. But one so clever as yourself will surely elude them. <laughs> okay, I think this train is to just have a sparring contest with him. Or, oh, never mind. And I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's the vo same voice actor as the other old one from Dark Siders One. I'm once again blanking on his name. Yeah, bloody heck. Yeah, I forgot his name too. But yeah, I think the same voice actor. And certainly the same accent. Okay, Harvester's Revenge. Plane showed you a new move, Harvester's Revenge, to help you on your journey. You can purchase additional moves by selecting this train option. Use, okay, right button, forward evade, and X. Okay, so, okay, it's a four, it's a dash attack. I, that. Okay. And, uh, yeah, pretty damn strong, huh? Yeah! Oh, please! A bad omen. Get 
these birds, these crows are everywhere. Even though we have killed what was basically this world's Odin, I guess. Like a crow father and everything. Not sure if he had only one eye, because that's one thing with Odin often as well. He had both eyes, and Odin had ravens. That guy had crows. True, but the parallel is very clearly drawn. I think there's some, actually there's some, many people in the in the, the, the people in religion that have uh, crows and ravens, not just Odin. And uh, yeah, the road is uh, sort of blocked. Um, friend of yours? Wait. Is that Jan for accounting? Uh, yeah, we'll have a lot more open areas to go through, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, we have access to our mount from the very start. I, I'm pretty sure we'll also have a lot more mounted combat. It has been a long Ooh. time since I last played this game, or rather the original version. But still, I'm remembering some parts of it. And okay, the lighting quickly shifted there and like there again. Hmm. Okay, there are... Wait, he oh, hello, that's a familiar signal. Signal. Yeah. Over here. Greetings, horsemen, and welcome. I've been expecting you, Vulgrim. What brings you crawling out of the shadows? <laughs> I wouldn't want to lose my most valuable customer. Not to what lurks at the edge of shadows. So here I am, to offer my wares. What do you know that I don't? I'm not here by choice, demon. I merely followed the trail of carnage. Your blades are as sharp as ever. Even still, I may be able to help you. I carry things others would frown upon. Go on, take a look. You won't be disappointed. Okay, his dialogue is a bit more stilted than it was last time. Hmm. Fresh merchandise. It's a race pack. Master of Dark Magic and can reset any creature's developed skills. With the right clean the skill tree. For a pretty a pretty small price eat actually. And he has uh, loot boxes. It's so right people enchanted. who throw him. Rare elite, uh, yeah, <laughs> leave it to a demon to start selling you uh, loot boxes. Another time, demon. Until then, perhaps you'll grant me a small indulgence. There are pages missing from the Book of the Dead. I believe many lie along your path. If you bring them to me, your reward will be substantial. And so will be my damnation. Um, had I shaved his nose? Mm, pretty sure he had a hole there all the time. Yeah, remember I just only noticed now that that his hole wasn't more like a skull, just just basically just a hole. Okay. And I was, I was me, I, I, YouTube, I was try to watch you play this. I think it helps. I have the same problems you. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll have to check if there might be issues with the definitive edition. And if there are, like, when I walk, I can see, yeah, the, just the, 
the leaves start to flicker because of the lighting or so. Uh, yeah, if if it comes forward that this edition just has issues for some reason, I'll swap to the original version. I'm trying to remember, I think, I forgot if he was playing the original or definitive edition. With, with Dark Souls 1, I think it was the, 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 the definitive edition. Uh, I mean, that... This one, this definitive edition. Oh, the YouTuber you were talking about, you mean? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out, I don't know if we played the original Dark Souls 2 or the definitive edition. Okay. So, but if I was already in the original, and they did not fix it in the uh, special edition here, that's a flaw for the company. Yeah. But at least it seems to be things to fix it at least. That it's up the range again. FPS seems to be stable at 60 again. Yeah. Yep, For some reason, it seems to have issues with uh, the Maker's on play. Yeah, it always starts now and then. Sometimes it just goes smooth, then suddenly it stops as crazy. Let's harass these idiots as we pass by. Also, I put a pillow behind my shoulders to help with my neck a bit. Since I can't lay my head back due to the headphones. Okay, and the other just runs, runs off. Okay. Hmm. It, it, it looks so weird the way he's running with his side. <laughs> yeah, he, he probably. He probably should have cut himself in the arms like a dozen times already by now. We can't reach yeah. that. Uh, I understand people, uh, they create one of the creative new badass poses, but... Sometimes they don't come off being just uh, very questionable. Okay. Then again, I have seen weirdo like uh, the Swordmaster guy from... Uh, one piece. Zoro with his yeah. three sword style. Yeah. <laughs> Let me... okay. Something here. Yeah. I very much. Okay, one more. Oh, damn. There we go. Um, nope, death. Come on, stick in there for a moment. Yep, there we go. For some reason, we can't just jump up here and grab the ledge. There we go. Just a bit more loot. Yeah, I, I won't be going for every little thing that we pass by. But I will try to get a good amount of loot and such because it'll make things easier. I'm hearing some. I'm hearing that, I think. I don't that? have a ranged attack. Now, earlier I also heard a humming like that, so I'm guessing it's a collectible for later. <gasps> because yeah, we can't throw anything at the moment. I have to go alone. <laughs> Get you some of your horns. That's not too alone, is it? Hmm? He said I have to go alone. Then you yeah. summon them, of course. Yeah, that was because I tried to summon it whilst I was still just outside the area where you can summon him. Okay. Um, okay, that's a change of scenery. Hello? Is that where it... No, this is not the same guy. For a moment I thought it was... 
Yeah, I'm still blanking on his freaking name. Uh, I mean, the character's name Black. was uh, Black Hammer, yeah. Yeah, Black Hammer, the Black Hammer. He does wear the similar colors. Then again, he's the same species. Let tears be true. A rider has come to the realm. Not another one. You're the Nephilim, the one they call Death. How did you get here? Took a wrong turn. It appears I'm stranded here with the rest of you. If you seek the cauldron, you should know that it fell to corruption fair long ago. I can still feel the fire itself rumbling deep in the earth. I'll take my chances. No different than the others. Less pleasant on the eyes, for one. <laughs> I could say no less for you. Folks around town call me Pup or Lad, but I prefer my own name, Khan. Pup it is, then. As you will, <laughs> matters not to me. <laughs> Death. Why not restore the fire yourself? I came here just for that purpose. Figured I'd pop the cork, so to speak, be the hero. But the cauldron is locked up well and tight. And the way through is swallowed by fire. You look capable enough. Perhaps you can find a way. I'll wait here and guard the entrance. Your shaman has offered me a talisman if I bring her the materials. You'd be wise to accept then. Her craft is mighty powerful. Where do I find Stalker's bone? You'll find Stalker's prowling the cauldron. Should be simple work if your name is any indication. <laughs> Say, if you're headed in there, do you mind doing something for me? Yes, I mind. Aren't I doing enough already? Perhaps. Though it seems to me you're doing right enough for yourself. Our benefit being a fortunate side effect. Well, if it ain't much trouble, I, I left an old metal platter in there. With the image of two hammers scribed in the center. Not much to look at, but uh, it was my journeyman piece. Last thing I ever forged. A dish? You want me to bring you a dish? Yes. Well, it has sentimental value. If you find it, I'll make it worth your while. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I like Death's personality. Yeah, Death is the, uh, I don't have fucking time <laughs> type. Uh. Let's see. If I'm more correctly, people do prefer this game over the original. Uh, because its gameplay is a lot more expanded. But there are also drawbacks in that there's a lot more territory traverse to traverse. So there can also be a lot more backtracking if you miss stuff. Yeah, and I guess it was this was the first uh, version of the game where they really expanded on it a lot. Which yeah. might have all the side effects as we do now with the yeah optimization. Okay, that's a bit little of a cork, only one made of iron. <laughs> if that even is iron. Shadow bombs are extremely volatile and can be used to destroy certain objects and dislodge others. I very much doubt that it will be enough to destroy this thing. Okay, press. On the lit wall switch. That one. It's, it's stuck to the spawner. There we go. in a good spot to put this pillow and keep it comfortable because if I put it too high it starts annoying at the back of my neck with the yeah, the connecting piece of the headphones but if I put it too low it pushes me forward like a freaking grandpa so for now let's just chuck it aside I need to find a smaller neck pillow or something or just keep a, a short distance from the chair Hello. Yeah, I guess that's me just coming to tell you 
Get good! <laughs> mm. yeah, it's... Well, we did we did kind of kill his owner, so uh, it makes sense that he'd find, go and find new... <laughs> uh, yeah, someone new to uh, get bird feet from. Thank you. There was something shiny with that batch. Let's see. Yep, I'll just... I keep pressing the wrong button there. Let's see. Still not enough for that. Nothing... Nope. Much better that. Okay. Now let's add an exit the aiming mode. Okay, nothing shiny. Except for these dumbasses. I don't recall if death, if death has a counter ability. But we'll find out in time. For now, let's just... Yeah, I'm not jumping that. I'm definitely going to fall to my death in there. So Holy instead, look, let's just move on. Look at your weapons! Yeah, they change as well when you change them out for different ones. And these yes. uh, are a bit gnarlier. <laughs> it is very heavy metal. Like the character is literally called <laughs> Death. Like, I'm surprised things aren't more death metal than they already are. Oop, that was an accident. That time was not. Okay, so we instantly we already have access to an air to a launching combo. And the crow is pointing us this way. Locked. Okay. And we'll have to find a key. And this one doesn't seem like the type that we can just stab in the eye and open up. We don't have a double jump. Let's see, anything to climb? Yep, there. Okay. The heck is... Oh, that's another of those emblems. We can grab that on the way back, but otherwise I'll have to circle around again. And it's sputtering again. Way then, or not? Oh, there's a switch. Let's see. Up and over. Okay. Hmm. And jump off. There we go. <gasps> I would say that this game seems to have a bit of a weaker start than Darksiders 1 since it doesn't start you out in the middle of the action like it did with War. But overall I do think this game is still remembered or is still favored over Darksiders 1 for on the gameplay side. But ev everyone has their own preferences. So we'll see what we end up thinking about this game. Provided we able to make it more cooperative. Yeah. On my end, the frame rate. Oh, okay, new enemy type, and these guys <laughs> just throw stuff at us as well. Construct, construct warrior and adjutant, I think it's it. Yep, construct warrior. Oh, we get to know what they are called. Yeah, when we lock on. And we can see their level. I pretty much I think that is. We get level three. Oop. Oop, oop. Heal up. Yeah, adjutant. Which I, I'm pretty sure is a sort of lieutenant. Is adjunct. Ad, ad, adjunct. 
I believe it is sort of a, a, a word that denotes a, a, a type of rank. Yeah, it's only going to be a dwarf nowadays. There we go. Any more? No, no more. Right, and oh, you? What were you to say earlier? Uh, what was I saying before that? Because it slipped my mind because of the combat. Something about the uh, frame rate? Uh, it, it seems to be stable again here, since we're dealing with smaller areas. And, and that's the map. On my end. Sometimes it just it runs very smooth until it stops the right man. And it's not my internet apparently for. Yeah, no warning sign about it on the side. Yeah, I, I think I've already said it like five times, but I'll have to look into optimizations for this game. Yeah. For now, let's just let these uh, fight amongst themselves. Can we get a lock on and get a name for that thing? Wait, hold on. Is that a falcon? Could be. Yes, it is. And yeah, it is very clear who is winning this. Longer than I thought it would. Whoop. We're a bit slow compared to how yeah, stalker type enemies typically work then. <laughs> okay, just burn up completely. Hmm. Okay. Another important chest. What will you have? Okay, the big fucking key. Okay, that's uh, an actual key for once. Yeah, these ornate keys can be used to open locked doors within the current area. Press uh, select to view the <clears throat> to view the area map and look for nearby locked doors. Okay, and yeah, they're marked on the mini map as well. Holding will summon dust. He will hint the correct path. Show me the way. Yep. Okay, I'd com I'd, I think I'd completely missed this when I originally played through here. Wait, I think that raven is your own raven. Yeah. Another crow. <laughs> yeah. yeah that, seem that very much seems to be the case here, yeah, and that <laughs> it's also very much the case that I did a stupid there. Though compared to, yeah, to war... Death just climbs himself out of it. <laughs> okay. Now there's this medallion down here. Boatman coins. Okay. More of these. How did that not hit me? <laughs> I guess I'm in the dirty frame. Anyone else? Nope. Okay. Open up. Now, we have a pit here. Okay, that's a very obvious. Oh. <laughs> okay. Time for some um, uh, <laughs> Katamari Damacy. Huh? All that for that? Yeah. <laughs> so there is. Uh, oh. Okay, I'm we can. I want to be Let's see, have we gotten any better good? 
loot. Not here. Nope. Okay. Extra resistance and experience. Always nice to have extra experience and stuff. And Okay, that's important items, I'm guessing. Yes, we need a stalker to go for talisman. Yeah. Now let's... Where do we have to go here? Not that way. Oh, hello. I... Okay. Wait. Is that it in here? Okay, apparently that's it over here. I thought that might actually lead to something that was necessary. Hmm. Only we missed it in that third fiery wall. Yes, yes, we got that already. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Wait. Maybe we open this. Take a look at the map again. Hmm? Uh, can I take a look at the map again? I think I saw yeah. something. Okay. The room to the east, that's where we came from, right? Yeah. That's the entrance. Uh, let's see. Dust, what do you have to say? This way. Okay, Alright, so the east don't there. Yeah, but I, I must have something. Room. It's... There was like a room there. You missed in there. Yeah, there. There's a staircase to the side there. But that seems to be connected to the entrance, not to here. Oh. See what you can find. Oh, there we... Okay, there's an opening. Okay. That makes a lot more sense. Okay, I, did, I didn't notice the growths over here. Let me actually check... If... Not there... Here... Let's see, if I turn this back up again, is it just the areas where it has issues, or is it with that in general? No, still 60 FPS again. Okay, it, I'm guessing it is certain areas that OBS doesn't really like as much. Because the game is running perfectly smooth for me. I'm not going to repeat myself again, because we already know what I, you know, I, I would say. That pizza is awesome. <laughs> that too. No, not that way. <laughs> oh, you're extra fancy. Okay, <laughs> it's not. I'm guessing that if there was a way to snap the neck of a chest, that would be it. Yeah, um, I think you just got the chest armor. Yeah. It's. I'm not entirely sure if I was supposed to be able to land here, but okay. Let's see. Band uh, Vagabond cover. And, well, it's not really chest armor, but it, it's covering somewhat. <gasps> it's... Okay, it's a better way than... Now, what will we find down here? Come on, let go. I'm pretty sure he's supposed to let go when I press B, but he wasn't. Yeah, he, he just wasn't. Guessing he's a bit grabby when it comes to plants. Okay. Right, 
Is this back where we... Okay, yeah, that, that's back to the entrance. We open a shortcut. Yeah. And that door is locked. Level. Yes, but we don't really want that. Oh, come on. Are you really going to bother us every time with this? Okay. Uh, might as well grab the other ability then. And, oh, we already... We got two skill points, or did I just miss that I was leveling up at some point? Anyways, let's see. Increase the health of summoned ghouls. Let's not for now. Let's see. We can summon ghouls. Set the blaze. Extra critical hit chance. Oh, I'll have to take this one first, I think. Oh. Oh. It, it set us back a bit further. We, it set us back before I got the ability, yes. Okay. okay. That there, that there. Or before we spent the uh, skill points. Okay. Yeah, we, we should try to remember to use that teleport slash a lot to regain our health. So now that is... This is open, okay. One over there, and one here, and one thing of the corruption. So I'm guessing we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll get raw from just dealing damage. So, some, is something firing at us? Oh no, that's just. That's just the local weather. <laughs> okay, there's the ball that we need, but it's in those corruption crystals, so we'll need to blow it up, probably. Okay. Or... What is... Oh, there we go. It's away! Okay. the hole. Yeah. Two holes, two balls. Easy enough to figure out. And I'm, I'm pretty sure we should be able to just... Actually, we should just be able to fit through these. Like, yeah. all, all this annoys me when, the, when it's so obvious uh, you look at it to go I can't obviously fit through. Yeah. Why? On a, on a test, I don't know the most field freedom, sure, but there's no hint of that. Oh. I for more than I thought, why is it giving it down us that tutorial again? But no, it's. Once we put one of these in, we can get them back out with a bomb. Because we need one of these to open up the other, you know, the gates to get to the other one. Pretty simple puzzle work. Use A to get B, then use A and B okay. to give me that. How could you want to get crushed there? <laughs> yeah, use A use A to get B, then use A and B together to open up the thing. Can I give this a shove or anything? But I can set it rolling and then just let it go away. Okay. And in the hole. And then this one is... Oh, we'll have to dislodge it first. Gotta get, keep that in mind. And I won't... Is there going to be stuff hidden behind this? Let's see if we can blow that crystal up. I'm guessing not. Nope. Okay.
I'm feeling a bit less talkative than on the usual streams. Uh, I'm guessing a part. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing a good part of that is that the, the temperature just seems to have completely plummeted today. <laughs> where it's just well, why I'm wearing an extra layer of clothing as well now. Yeah. I, I thought we'd be talking more, so I was just so annoyed with the countering. Yeah, we'll, we'll really have to figure out what the hell is causing that. Or just find a better way to stream the, uh, to share the game to you as well. Yeah, hopefully it will be fixed when I get the internet, but this one doesn't seem to be related to the internet. I don't know if it's uh, Discord having problem or not. Now, Rom said he didn't have as much of a problem, so I think it is somewhere on your end or in between. Yeah, no, he, he said not as much as a problem, he said. So, but he also said he ate some of it, if I remember right. Oh, okay, yeah, now it's this part. I, I'm looking at the preview of the stream and it is very stuttery for some reason. So, it's this part. Hmm. Yeah, I am not the one going insane then. No. Let me see if I can change that. I think I should be able to... Stream quality... Let's drop that to 30 FPS. Uh, oh, that sinks back into... Oh, that seems to have made the stuttering even worse. Uh, lower quality. Hmm. I, I doubt dropping it to 15 FPS would work... would pack things. Hmm. Yeah, that, that, that's odd. Hmm. I, I have Discord Nitro still, uh, since I paid for a, a certain amount. I did, uh, I did cancel uh, my uh, renewal on that. I, uh, oh, I see what. Knock up. Come on, Dev, get off of this thing before it gets dumped back in with you on it. And it, like, I know that the hot blasts can be good for you, but I don't think that <laughs> will do you much good. <laughs> A bit too toasty. <laughs> okay. Some camera just... <gasps> Close up of the wall. That is a nice wall. It's going to take another. I, I'm... Let's try this for a bit. Maybe it'll need a bit of time to adjust. Yep. Fast travel back in town to purchase supplies and return to where you left off. Okay. I'm pretty sure I never knew of that as well because, yeah, it just it just slaps it at the bottom of the screen. You uh, uh, okay? Now I understand what you said. Either you either you read it wrong or I misheard you. I thought you said cover force cover back in time. <laughs> Wait, did it? Did that not hurt it? It probably made him very grumpy. It, it scares the shit out of it for a moment, but it does zero damage. Probably because we're this distance away. <gasps> okay, but I did not know that you could fast travel to and from uh, dungeons. Yeah, I, I, I probably wasted like several hours. Yeah, originally when. It's going back and forth between places, then. Any new useful... Axe of Fire. 
Yes, let's take that thing. <laughs> okay, uh, I think you could cut a nice salami with this thing. Yeah, I think that's one of the maker's axes. Well, we're going to unmake some things with it. Hello. There we go. Did he, did he just... Did he... Uh, from what I saw, I think he just used the, the hilt to uh, stab. Okay! Okay, it also has a charge attack. being a bit of an idiot now because I went to we suppose no we we got the chest from there uh, we still need we still need to do something here according to the pro I'm guessing go hmm. okay that way uh, we just went there what would be different now? Because we blew this up. Do we have to... No, we don't. We wouldn't have the time for that. Okay, let's try it again without getting the hot foot. That up. Get up here. There's no other way to climb on this thing. Come on. <laughs> what are we to do with you? Must have overlooked something here because we need some way to progress and well extra loot isn't it's going to help us progress in a different way but not through just the puzzles in this place yeah, I, I don't know why discord might be having an issue with this game because typically it hasn't ha had like this sort of trouble because but it forces stuff down to uh, a quality that should run well yeah we have had some games we had struggle with and we're doing this damn thing but it was very selective of when we wanted to do it here it's very random i missed the very obvious switch right across my face Another thing that we'll have to look up. And those gases can't be good for you. Journeyman platter. Okay, one of the last journeyman answers. This platter holds deep sentimental value for, uh, to Karn. Okay. Freaking spike boss onto my bank. Uh, come on. It, it's, it's, like a, it's like if you mixed a golem with a big daddy. Uh, I de de 
Evelyn E. This Get myself a bit of a distraction. Heal up and okay, he stuns. Okay, probably good that I dodge back from that. Okay. Come oh, on, big boy. Okay. If we just stop this one move, the corruption. Oh uh, yeah, there, there's definitely some tentacle shit going on with this thing. Okay, coming up. You intend to it. Caused by surprise, but Dark Avenger. This weapon once belonged to the human warrior known as Draven. In countless duels, the weapon absorbed, you know, absorbed Draven's own rage and thirst for revenge against those who wronged him. The Dark Avenger is infamous for possessing a furious lust for blood and carnage. Okay, is that a new is that a new weapon for us then? I don't know the weapon of a human? Hmm. Let's see. Okay, oh it's a secondary. But we can't equip it yet because we're underleveled. It would also give us a defense bonus. Okay. Uh, oh. I guess this is one of the games where you don't want to skip out on enemies too much. Yeah. Let's see. Less defense, but more guilt found, which that's probably the, the coins. You know, item, you know, objective item. Oh, I love the music here. Pardon? <laughs> Yeah, this music always have a bit of a old Diablo feel, like in Diablo 1 and 2. Yeah. It's uh, a lot more subdued at the moment. Yeah. And just like in any Diablo, we're smashing pottery. Yeah. So, I think that's a name for that kind of music, uh, but I forgot what. I like but it was the music were around way before Diablo. Possessed weapons gain experience when items are sacrificed to them. When a new experience level is gained, you'll be given choice of how to upgrade the weapon. Okay, like, again, this could be a lot better uh, explained by not having it just pop at the bottom of the screen. Let's see, none of these are better. There we go. A possessed mace, more damage than what we have at the moment. Let's see. Upgrade, and we can... Okay, we can upgrade... We can feed just about anything to it. Let's see. Just feed it a few sites. And... Okay. Hmm. Let, let's not sacrifice anything of high, you know, of higher you know, rarity to it yet. Yes. Hmm. Okay, so you have a bit of a choice with either selling stuff or using it to feed your possessed uh, weaponry. But I don't have a possessed weaponry. What do I have a gold? Okay, there we go. Why the hell was it sealed off in the first place? Uh, they, they made it. They made it sound like uh, the corruption was blocking it, but we walked in pretty clearly. 
Unless they blocked it to keep the corruption out. It could be. Either way, objective done. And that was... What was that that we just picked up? Yeah, new sites. Okay. Oh! <laughs> like the death motive wasn't even... Uh, motive uh, wasn't obvious enough already. Yeah, death seems to go for minimal... Uh, mi uh, yeah. Pragmatic minimalist style on his clothing, but when it comes to his scythes, yeah, he goes all in. Got that. Grab this. Is that anything better? Nope. Oh, a <laughs> purple. Less, less defense, more strength, more arcane, more experience, but the gold bonus is lost. Yeah, we're, we're just grabbing that. For the moment, I think just putting up uh, rarer armor or higher leveled armor will do. Can we smash these? Yes, we can. Beer. Well, no beer then. Uh, let's see. It's character. Oh, dust. Though he has wings, a beak and feathers, do not mistake dust for a mere crow. He has something more. Perhaps another trick of the crow father or another curse. Dust serves as guide to the pale rider across creation's many blighted worlds. For that alone, death... Oh, there we go. Is thankful. Thankful enough to not slay the bird. <laughs> <laughs> then we have the spare. Death's noble steed, the spare is a battle-hardened monument to the horseman's own power. The feat is all but unimaginable when the two join to rise. Wherever death goes, despair and despair soon follows. Together they strike fear in the stoutest of hearts. Okay. So here we can take a look at our stats and such. Now, what was that about quick travel? That was statistics. Uh, let's see. Overworld. Um, fast travel. Fast traveling from within the dungeon will leave a dungeon waypoint, allowing you to easily return. Okay. Though we don't need to, and then we got an achievement for that, Pathfinder. Yeah, uh, wouldn't you find Karn to give me his, his planner? Uh, we can move. If he's still out there, we can use that waypoint to get back to him. Alright. For now, let's just uh, yeah, let's just inform you that we put, <clears throat> that we did what needed to be done. <laughs> Horseman, the fire of the mountain flows again. Yes, freed by my hand and Khan. Khan, that pup, well, he hasn't a clue. And yet, the forge burns once more. You know what awaits you, Ryder. To finish this, you must restore the tears. I'm not your errand boy, Maker. Aye, but our fates are now yoked. Help us, and we will help you. In the meantime, take this. It might be of use. Let's see, Redemption, a powerful pistol belonging to Death's Brother Strife. And another achievement that I just missed? How the hell did you get your hands on this thing? I have this pistol. It belongs to my brother Strife. How came it here? I cannot see, but there are other goods you may barter for now as well. Restore the tears, then return to me. You said oh, that the you found it. Power your forward, fire and tears. Yes, fire to wake the earth and tears to calm it. Both gifts of the Stone Father. And fire will not be enough. Nay, we require both. Where might I find the tears of the mountain? To the west, past the fjord and into the drench fort. You will find the tears within. Vals has been busy. There are new items. Okay, uh, let's take a quick look at, again, these things are way too pricey. Like, I, I know this world is dying, but could you not try to extort the freaking Horseman of Death? <laughs> like, um, 
see you on a locked fire of the mountain. Okay, another skill point, and now we have... Yeah, Strife's Pistol. Okay. Yes, is, I think it is going to just annoy us every time when we have a skill point ready. Emulation. And which is required to get to Inescapable. And well, it's required to get to anything further down this line anyways. Uh, all enemies struck by teleport slash have a chance to be set ablaze. Nine damage every half second or five seconds. So 90 damage about. 25 proc chance. Okay. Let's see. More damage, more heal. Okay. No. Okay, not that. This. Let's see. Feed some more stuff to that cursed item. Or possessed. And see what that does. No. It doesn't seem... Yeah, it seems... Okay. Extra damage and... Defense or Arcane? We don't know what Arcane does yet, but I assume... I assume it's uh, just skill damage. Let's put that on. Achievement feeding time. Is there a limit to how much we can upgrade an item like this? Or will it just uh, level out at some point? Good question. I would, I would think it has a max level, for otherwise... Uh, yeah. It could uh, break the game, that thing. Yeah, for now, though, let's just keep sacrificing stuff to it and see what ends up happening. And then again... Let's have a look. Okay, it deals more damage than the Dark Avenger, but the Dark Avenger attacks fast, so it's... It'll likely be deal more damage over time. Okay, so maybe, maybe let it... Yeah, let's, let's leave it be for the moment. Then we'll find out uh, what to... We'll probably find better gear sooner or later anyways. And I think it's an easy guess that we... Actually, no, you're, you're the trainer. I almost didn't recognize him for a moment. Oh, so we can spar with him. Pels himself into the ground. Useful launch attack. Can send enemies over death's head. Painbringer. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing that's his counter. Or oh no, that's hmm. crushing overhead heavy strike that drives most people into the earth. Charge for more damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, th that skill's name really gets me for some reason. Uh, let, let's get this one. Let's see what that does. And that. that one's my favorite. <laughs> oh really? Okay, so it, it's it's just a big ass slam. <laughs> okay. Very big, big stick. Map. Let's see. We should be able to just go back. And I'm assuming, I'm assuming that Corn is outside still. If not, he'll be somewhere. Yep. Yeah. If not, he'll probably be somewhere at the Enclave and we just overlooked him. <laughs> yeah, we have no reason to return here. Because we already got what we could find here. Oh, come on. He ran off. Okay, can we still fast travel? Because that... Okay, yeah, we can still fast travel to basically any points. Okay. That, that is going to be very useful. It's... Oh, yeah. Uh, Tristone, I, I, mi I missed that it was named that. 
Hey, oh, hello. What is Karn? They don't tell yeah. me he accidentally broke him. I doubt that, but you never know in games at times. For now, let's just go back here. And at the very least, move towards the second mini dungeon. Do uh, we ought to soon end the stream? Do remember that. Yeah. I am keeping an eye on the clock and the timer. Good boy. Hmm. Oh. Okay. I might have to turn up the f I might have to turn up the radiators because my nose is starting to itch from the cold. I think, even with the freaking sweater on. <gasps> Not that cold. Then again, I am very cold resistant. Okay. I don't, I don't Chat know seems I'm... to have a few people in it, but uh, record, according to the stream manager, there's only one person in there. So I guess we'll have to check the names of uh, today's chat against the bot, uh, yeah, against the bot register again. Oh, uh, don't mind us, Cthulhu. It's a freaking big thing, and yeah. it's blocked off the gates. Oh, we're gonna go for what? It's something disgusting. I tried to seal in the corruption, but no good came of it. What there you are. Do? More than do is the venom those stingers get you with if you let them too close. You'll find them in Drangefort. Walk softly, though. Those stings are nasty. What can you tell me about the tears of the mountain? The Dirinch Fort lies just beyond this barrier. It was the first thing taken by corruption. We sealed the Stone Father's tears inside, fearing what would happen if they spread. If I do as Alia asks, you'll soon find out. Aye, and the realm will be better for it. Whether pure as rain or black as sin, the tears will end this stalemate. It's odd how I often find you standing. Without the Tree of Life Horsemen, I'm trapped here just like you. A fortunate few slipped out before the tree was lost, like Ulthane. That, that was his name. name. And who is Ulthane? He's just another maker. Has a big hammer is all. When he escaped, I feared to follow. And a good thing, too. And why is that? Well, you might still be looking for the cauldron if not for my courage and wit. I'm pretty sure standing outside the door would, <laughs> hasn't been much help to us. Like, we've done more for him by just finding him his... Uh, <laughs> by finding him his dinner plate. I found that <laughs> dish you wanted. You're a good man. Much more so than your name would imply. <laughs> I'm in your debt. If you're really going, don't let me stop you. Exploring's a wondrous thing. You never know what you might find. For instance, should a bit of armor turn up, it's likely some I uh, misplaced some years back. If you can find it, I'll be in your debt. Okay, one oh, little what? thing is... Yeah, the, the, the dialogue feels a bit more disjointed so far. Probably yeah. because it is multiple choice in a lot. The rest of it. The, some just sound just fine, but there are some that slightly sound uh, disjointed. Yeah. Uh, uh, it, it's not just uh, the selected uh, speak, but... Uh, hmm. It is a small thing, and it is something that many RPGs have a bit of an issue with at times. But... Uh, yeah, we'll see if it stays like that or if it's just uh, early game jitters. And the heck is that thing? It's like a wasp nest out of hell. Oh, and here come the wasps. Okay. 
Come on. There we go. Block the freaking bugs. And that is the last of them. Almost the last of them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a bit more showy than what war does by just ripping them in half. Uh, but yeah, de death is a bit of a show off. <laughs> Say that you can easily swap these things with the executions. There we go. Oh. And yeah, these are called stingers. Am I supposed to set up a chain reaction of sorts? Or are those there just to make it easy? To, so you can get easy kills on them. Hello, stalkers. Savage Prowler. Okay, they look like smaller stalkers to me. Yeah, yeah, they're way skinnier than the stalkers. Yeah, and also less armor. But they have some armor. Yeah. And there's a lot more flesh exposed. Yeah, they look very scrawny. What's that? Okay. That. And, oh, almost missed this. Hello. Fjord. The fjord's a bit overgrown with gunk. Yeah, I think it's more stalker. Or one of the bigger prowlers? Yeah, it, actually now they... Yeah, now that I look about it, they, they seem to be two different species, so that, that fits as well. Because with... With the stalkers, it's a lot more like scales instead of just plain armor on top of the flesh. See? Yep. Like the stalker is stealing, but the owner are. Armor. Yeah, like, like a it? carapace, sort of. Okay, reinforcements. Or distraction, however you want to call them. But it's going to be cooperating. Okay, and the, the gun auto Okay, it has a limited amount of ammo, but it recharges on its own. It ha better worded, it has unlimited ammo, but it can only hold so many charges at once, so to speak. What's up here? Just out of reach. Is there anything that we can move in there? And I forgot to set the... Uh, I forgot to turn the freaking alarm of that off to just uh, shake the... Uh, okay. Uh, let's go this look for a safe place for holes. Let's go look for a safe point, and then we'll end it. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll pass by there another time probably. Looks like a safe point here. Yeah. When it's when it shows in the corner. Oh. Oh, save with the, the little oh. version. Okay, there we go. Do you there? Okay. 
As good a place as any to start. You know, to, no, come on, freaking. Okay, save. Oh, okay, so we can just save at any point. That that is going to be useful, though. I, let, let's just get rid of these little pests. Come on. Come <laughs> on. Seems to be a bit. Seems to be a bit picky for when it will actually do the execution of these small things. Still here, one. Yep. Okay. Save. And quit game. Okay. A bit of a tumultuous start, but we also had that with Darksiders 1. So, I guess in a way, it's continuing a trend. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And uh, yeah, it. I do have a bit of discomfort from the the air. You know, I still don't know what to specifically call it, but yeah, I, I do have a, a bit of discomfort from uh, the the bone conducting earphones. But that's because I've been wearing them for a good chunk of the day. So yeah, that's just my ears getting sick of them for multiple hours. And, of course, I wear my glasses on top of that, so that's a bit more weight pushing down on them as well. But, yeah. Uh, thoughts on the game so far? It looks... Uh, yeah, it looks like it's still a very exciting. I'm looking forward to see more of it. <laughs> well, okay. It, sure, it has some... Some places seem to have taken some blows, but other things... Seems to be going better. Yeah. Uh, it's, well, that's a big ass freaking buckle. <laughs> I only notice now. Like that. That looks like it's, it looks like he's wearing the, a maker's belt across his chest. <laughs> Maybe he is. Okay. And now that uh, the game is uh, done with showing off Death's uh, pecs again. Uh, yeah, this is uh, this is well. Yeah. This has been Dark Souls 2. Anyone who's been watching now or later, thank you for watching, and thank you especially Drakir. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. And Saturday will be hopefully starting with uh, Dark Sa Not not Dark. We'll hopefully be starting with Orcs Must Die 3 for our Saturday shows. And I do have a bit of a. Uh, a schedule change for Sunday because uh, I, I've got a schedule conflict there. So uh, Sunday there won't be a stream. So mo but Monday will be a catch up on that. Right. So yeah. For now though, um, yeah. Thank you again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day. But until then, uh, I, I'm messing up my in outro now. <laughs> until next time. Be safe, folks!